Welcome to this back of the net match day vlog. Now Villa and Bournemouth have got more in common than you think. They are both outperforming pundits expectations. Both have got an English goal scorer in sparkling form and in their respective Basque gaffers they both seem to have the right managers that could take them to the next level. In Unai Emery they are already reaching new heights sitting nicely in the top four and currently a European semi and with all other English clubs in Europe seemingly failing it means that only top four will get Champions League therefore fifth will not be good enough and guess what Spurs are in fifth and they've got a game in hand three points behind so this puts pressure on Villa for today's fixture but they'll be knackered right after their midweek game against Lille well we hope so because we've got our own targets this season a top 10 finish would be nice but also beating our Premier League points tally it's 158 miles to Villa, so M3, A34, M40, M42, cheeky bit of M6, and then we'll be at Villa Park, and we might even get back by 9pm tonight. But either way, it's a huge game in the Midlands, so we're on our way to Birmingham, to the only side up there that's doing their city proud. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> Right, we're at Warwick Services. Nearly made it the whole way, but just wanted to stop and grab a coffee. But you know what? It gives us a great chance to talk to you about NordVPN, a service that Villa fans might like, because, hear this, you can use it in Europe. But, but what is NordVPN? What does it do? Why do you need it? Let me tell you. Well, it's a download. You can get it on your phone, tablet, or your computer. Plus, you can have it on your smart TV or the little stick that plugs into the back of your smart TV. Why have it, though? Well, it keeps you secure, it hides your IP address, it encrypts your data, plus it protects you from malware, trackers and ads, and it's got threat protection shields built in. And hiding your IP address is good for a few reasons. Whatever you're watching, whatever device that you're using, maybe you're taking in live football via your fire stick, or you're watching a movie on your laptop, NordVPN maintains your privacy. Plus, it's got the ability to change your virtual location as well. So, say you're a Villa fan and you're over in Greece and you've just watched your team beat Olympiakos. It could happen, you know. And the next morning, you want to wake up, watch the TNT sports highlights that are usually restricted to the UK. Well, you'll find that you wouldn't be able to. With this, you can. Change your virtual location to the UK and you can watch that and any other services that are just for the UK. But same goes for if you're in the UK as well. You can unlock services from other content libraries like on Netflix just by choosing your other location first. It's so easy. But security is the main thing. I use it all the time and it's very fast as well. Now with Back of the Net, you get an exclusive NordVPN deal. If you take out a two year plan, we'll give you four months extra for free. But the only way you get that is by going to the link below. By the way, it's so fast as well. Just go to nordvpn.com forward slash AFCB. It's risk free and there's a 30 day money back guarantee as well. Right, we need to get going, get to the pub and get to Aston Villa, come on. We've arrived. We're here in Birmingham. Tom's here. All right. Good mate. Good mate. Good drive up. Good drive yeah, it up. Just smells of Birmingham, doesn't it, a little bit? Mate, you're harsh, mate. Nah. They love us after. Well, I'll tell you why I'm harsh. What? How hard is it to find a bloody place to have a drink yeah like in and around villa park we've come to a pub on the outskirts called the yenton yeah it's got live football it's relatively cheap and it's all right here isn't it richard's here hi sam uh short journey for you oh local game for me yeah so i was with my feet up at home while you were <laughs> up the a34 and uh m40 and so on so yeah nice day for me how are you Good feeling night. about today mate uh yeah no all right i think there's no fear from us so i think it'll be a good game uh, yeah, looking forward to it. And yeah, like, like I say, there's no real pressure on us. So I think we can just kind of play with no fear. That might end up hurting us because they're a good side. And obviously we know now with coefficient kind of out the window, yeah. they need fourth, so they'll need to win the game. Um, and they'll be in uh, good spirits. But obviously now they're European semi finalists they don't care about away fans. Mm. Let's see who else is here. How's Tom going to get away with this, eh? No caps. Nice oh. taker. 
dreamer. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ben. Thank you. Phillips, how old are you today, mate? 17 years old. So, uh, are you going to be driving us to three points today? Because you can now, right? Um, yeah, I can, I, I can start to learn. But uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of the game, yeah. why not? That's all I'm going to say, why not? Villa have played 120 minutes away from home. Obviously, I know they've won. Yeah. But that's going to absolutely knacker them out. But thanks to the other clubs, there's no eighth place to play for, whatever. There's going to be minimum European places. So what have we got to play for? Top half, yeah. I hope, because right now we're 13th, seven points ahead of Brentford who have played two more games than us. But we've still got a very good shot to get a very, very high points total, arguably probably our highest ever. Yeah. So, yeah, there's there's no reason why we shouldn't, especially because we've got Wolves in midweek. And if we beat them, then there's a big buffer between them. So, yeah, there's no reason why we can't. We've got some good, good players back, so why not? We're going to win 3-1. How are you feeling about the game today, Richard? What do you think we're going to do? It's a difficult one to call, really, because, I mean, they had a hard game on mm. Thursday, went to extra time and penalties. They're without, I think, Douglas Louise and Kamara as well. So I think the important thing for us is if we were still in the game after about an hour, you'd imagine they'd start to tire mm. a bit. So hopefully, if we can stay in for that 60 minutes, then uh, there's definitely something in it for us. What's your prediction? What are you going for? Um, oh, why not 2 1 to us? Right, pub, duck, look, mate, we look like a couple. Do we? Can you give me a kiss or what? Let's get a bit apart. Come on, turn the same. <laughs> We are in. Here we go. Yeah, they have a really good take too. We're here earlier than we usually would be. Do you know but why? You know what? There's a lot of people here. Why? They don't do away pubs. We know. We've been over oh, this. Oh, we're in a semi-final. It's good to see you're over this, Tom. Yeah. Um, the teams are out. What's going on? Um, well, we done a preview, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I put it to the Bournemouth team. Okay. So you just look at that. Bang on. There you go. Um, see it. Look at that. There's us one off. All right, let's see it. Um, I'm, I'm blaming our resident Villa fan, Catherine. I why? said to her, why? do I put Conjur at right back or will Matty Cash play? And she said... He's played. To, he's played under twenty minutes. And he he didn't play. He looked knackered. Look knackered. He scored the goal, didn't he? Yeah. But he is starting. So I put Diego Carlos in and Conza right back. But Conza centre half, where he is better. And Matty Cash in at right back. Um, for us, only the subs bench is a bit of a change. That Fev, however you want to pronounce it, is not here. Um, so McKenna's on the bench. So we've got two goalies. Well, hopefully we can hypnotise them into losing the game. Oh yeah, what's his name? Paul McKenna. Paul McKenna. Yeah, well played. Right, this man here, Simon, feeling positive. Very Why? positive. Why? Uh, many reasons. Number one, they obviously played in Europe in a week, and the last time they did that, they fell apart against Spurs after 60 minutes. True. I think we've got the press and the power and the ability to do exactly the same thing. we just got to be in the game at half time. Let's not get more than one behind, because I think we can make it happen. Our setup marries very well against Unai Emery's and the managers know each other. So we've got the Spanish connection, we've got the knowledge, we'll get everything we need to win this game. I'll tell you what, it's all about the happy birthday today. Ben Phillips is 17 today, but also Ethan this week was 16. Happy birthday, mate, how are you? Uh, cheers, mate, uh, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, I saw you got uh, one of your birthday presents was uh, a Mazala print, Antoine Semenyo, 4-3 against Luton. Is it gonna be as exciting today? What do you think is gonna happen? Uh, I think it'll be, Sort of a scrappy game. They'll, they'll be tired from the other night, so I think we'll get a win. I'm confident. What's our target this season? The top half, surely. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You've beaten our points record, maybe? Yeah, that'd be good. That's doable. I mean, what, four points off it, are we? So, moment, I mean, so. a win today would help. Do you reckon we'll get it? Because Villa are going to be tight. You know, loads of people have said this, but the crowd, though, yeah. like, you know, the whole end of like a 12th man, they could really get behind them and inspire them. They'll be buzzing after that. They'll yeah, be they are. Yeah, so what do you reckon today, then? Um, I think it's all on the first half hour. If we let them get ahead, I can't see us getting back into it. Yeah. If we start the game well, again, their fans work for them, but they also work against them. Sure. And we're coming into games now, like Luton, it's a bigger game for them than it was for us. Villa, it's a bigger game for them than it is for us. So it's nice to not have a lot of pressure on the game, but I'll get some splinters sitting on the fence. But I'll go, I'll go one all. Right, we are in. And look at this beautiful stadium. My goodness me. 
Is that end going to be a 12th man today? Quite possibly so. Beautiful day in the Midlands. My goodness me. Beautiful. That heat is too much. That heat is way too much. Seriously, my eyebrows are still there, Tom. I think they are. It's hot. First chance when the way of Holly Watkins, deflection corner. Ooh, it does say that like kid. Yes. Oh! Wow, wow, wow. What an effort in the first time. Shoot. Oh, top. Oh! The Tara side netting. Nice little dink from Lord Kelly there. Camera phones at the ready boys. Billy Day can't even look. Look at him. He can't even look. He never looks at penalties. Nice little delay. Tom, Tom can't even look. Tom can't even look. Tom's not looking. Please. the knife in. Great goal by him. What's happened to his career? How come he was shite for us? Brilliant for them. Good goal. Down, one and up. Two one down. But you know what that is? Like quality with that final three ball. We've had so many chances where the final three ball is just not good enough. You saw Dongo just then, you saw Justin Cliver, and then you see one from them, and the technical quality means that they've got a shot on goal. We haven't, they score it, we don't. Two one. Tell you what, fair play to their fans, man. They are loud. They are loud. They've been loud before they scored. Loud after they've scored. Possibly some of the best fans we've had this season. Actually. 
so we're making some changes. Senesi off, Semenyo on, so we're making a few changes here. Tom. Kerkes will go left back. Right. And Semenyo left wing. Why then Lloyd Kelly just slipping in? So, yeah. Just don't go out and move, so Tom, please stand right So, what's your analysis from half time? We didn't get it. Uh, we've done alright, mate, but they're clinical, we're not. They have a couple of shots, they both go in the back of the net. Ours don't. We can go toe to toe with these teams, but they've got a little bit more quality in front of goal, haven't they? Both both boxes, really. We're playing quite well. Um, but yeah, I think Samelia will help us hopefully. Um, Shame we didn't have we didn't have like Tab or City available yeah. just to cause them a few more problems. But we're in the game, mate. It's two one. Keep it at two one as much as we can. See if we can nick something. Neto, man. So, right, for context, we've got Villa fans texting us saying how bad Neto is. And then that happens. And then that happens. I think the defence, I mean, it must be hard when you're playing Just in front of the a keeper. Just be goalkeeper! He's given, he's given them no confidence. Look, we'll, we'll cheer his name, we'll, we'll sing his praises, etc. When he deserves it, but when he's playing bad, we'll have to, we'll have to call it out. Do something! A couple of weeks ago, the Echo did um, an article about how many goals. Yeah, watch it, Neto! Watch it! A down to him. That's another one. Okay! Hey! Now, everyone can see it, apart from those who pay his wage. Because he is on 100k and he is captain. No more, no more of that, surely. I know, I know Mark Travers ain't got the experience, but surely to God, man. He's been, he's been pulled back from being on loan to see mistake after mistake. Here we checked, but he might, I think he might have, I think he was, he was offside. But it just like, shows you what a capable right winger can do, eh? My God, man. So, just walking back to the car, we're nearly there. We're gonna end this vlog now. Tom, frustrating day at the office. By the way, mm. what's going on in the FA Cup? Oh, mad. I left the ground, it was 3-0 United. It's 3-3, uh, free -free, extra oh. time at the moment. So, see what happens there, mate. But uh, fair play to Kov. But hard day for us today. Yeah, you man. know, individual moments, yeah. some substandard performances at times, but overall, Villa side, they wanted it more because they've got reason to want it more. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, definitely a team that wanted more, but they certainly didn't look like a team that played 120 minutes a day on uh, Thursday. Um, Morgan Rodgers as well, such a weird one. I mean, we joked about it in the preview, said he's bound to score. He did, but just talking about it in the chat there, he's eight million quid he cost them. Yeah. I just don't, how have we not seen that? <laughs> I don't understand because he's a, he's a class. Yeah, he was I mean, good. for us, he was hopeless. But yeah, no, Villa deserved it in the end. I thought first half, I'd say apart from their goal, I'd say we had the best, obviously we've got the penalty. I remember the Clivert charts, uh, Dango back stick. So, thought we were well worthy of being at least level at half time but second half I don't know it's I mean Emery don't get me wrong Emery did it against Arsenal as well at half time second half they looked better um, and I just felt they controlled it so they didn't need to go use that energy that maybe they zapped a little bit on Thursday and yeah they, they thoroughly deserved to win the game mate we weren't good enough I just say you know obviously I've said it enough on fan cams but as I just yeah I've got to a point where I'm, well, I'm entitled to my opinion and yeah. I just don't think the goalkeeper is very good um, don't Nothing against his character. I think he's clearly good for the for the football club in and around the place um, experience. But yeah, just think he's let us down too many times now. And yeah, a few. Uh, unfortunately, we're at a stage where a few too many injuries. Yeah, um, it dear, yeah, it costs us a little bit. And um, I, I mean, listen, I don't I don't really mind that we've let players go on loan that might got minutes because we're in a position where it doesn't really matter. Um, I feel for like Roman Fev, I don't know why he was obviously ill or injured today. He probably gets minutes, do you know what I mean? True. It's like one of them and he hasn't uh, been able to get them. But yeah, we weren't good enough, mate. Uh, they were 3-1, probably reflects the game quite well, yeah. actually. Um, 
But it doesn't matter if we go and beat Wolves, we'll forget about this one quite quickly. But yeah, we're just looking to next season now. So hopefully some calmer heads on the second look. That's still to come. Plus a Villa away day review. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh, cheers.